Hey everyone, welcome to a short video where I give you a tip, another tip for your ID customization. And in this case, uh, someone asked me how can I configure the theme that I have on my computer. And yes, I do love dark themes everywhere I can. And in this particular case, I think this ID is one of the most beautiful IDs for embedded development because other even paid ones are really dull and really white. So you, I, it scorches my young eyes. Uh, and for everyone that wants to configure the self, just follow this tutorial. What you want to do is go into the Eclipse Marketplace, which is going to be under the help. And you're going to open that one. It might take a little bit of time to load everything. And then you want to search for this theme, which is called Dev Style. So in this case, let's go Dev Style. And it should be the first one, the darker dark theme with Dev Style. I want to click install. Mine is already installed and it's apparently really hard to uninstall it very much. So without complicating my own setup on my machine, when you're going to click install, you're going to get a prompt like this. And it's going to be something like this. The first and the third one are going to be ticked. I, I don't really use the code together, so I untick this one. But I will tick the icon designer and I advise you to do so because these icons are much better looking than the stock ones. Those two, confirm. Then you're gonna click uh, yes and finish. It's gonna install and then prompt you to restart it and you will. And then when you're gonna restart it, it'll give you a notification window. Uh, so I searched up the window that it gave me when I first installed it, something like this. It's gonna be a hello window and then I'm gonna click next. And then the second window is gonna be something like this. So choose your global theme. So either the fresh light, darkest dark or the eclipse classic. So. I just search for the darkest dark theme and you click this one, click next and will, it will log in for you. And then when you come inside for this ID configured, let's close this one. This is how it's going to look, but the theme will be a little bit different. If you see from this preview over here, this theme is blue and green and red. So this is the default, uh, uh syntax highlighting theme that you will have. You can also configure that one. So you're going to go now to window preferences and now another configuration will be now added called dev style, change theme and look, and this is the dev style configuration. So if you either want to change your global theme or any kind of icon colors, you can change it over here. So in this, in my case, it's the darkest dark. Here's the fresh light and all the others. You can also change your icon colors. I just leave it on the primary colors, which is the default. And then the editor theme. I think the darkest dark will be the default one. Yes, so this is the default one. But you can also import and add new ones. You can click browse over here. It will take you to this website when you can download different Eclipse color themes. And you can search and there's a real lot of them. And you can search by any type of search term. And when I firstly installed mine, I was searching for something resembling the IntelliJ theme uh, from JetBrains uh, package. And the one that I really love is called, in this case, the Darkula JetBrains. And it looks like this, and it's really nice for me. So I saw this theme in the IntelliJ's uh, C Lion, so for programming C and C++, is this theme that they used. So I really like this one. So I just downloaded that theme from that website and now I just have it in my folder somewhere. So in this case, I put it on my desktop and this is its name. I don't know if I have modified it or this is the original one. I'm going to put this one on my GitHub, but if you can find the original one on the website, please do, but do make sure to have a copy on your machine and have it on a permanent location. That's why I'm not going to demonstrate this one. I have mine on my permanent location. So the Eclipse every time finds it that it needs to. So it's imported like dark, uh, dark Rilla jet brains. And that's all. That is all I have for my configuration. You click apply, close, and your ID should look something like this. If you wanted to install the same syntax coloring, but this is really the freedoms you have. So I hope this was helpful to those who want to use this ID for the development. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.